Hey guys, so I recently got access to a new terminal emulator called Ghosty. Now, um, this is a terminal that is GPU powered, written in Zig, and it's extremely fast. Uh, it's still under development and it's closed beta right now. It does have some interesting features that will hopefully allow us to build better CLI tools. Now, how do you get access to this? The first thing to do is just uh, visit their Discord community and join it, and then Usually they give you access after a while or somebody there will probably kind of vouch for you and hopefully give you access. For me, what I had to do is reach out to a friend who already got access and that person eventually uh, helped me get an invite. Now, <laughs> let's walk through their repo for a bit and see how, um, how things are looking. So assuming you have access, you can head to the download section and pick whatever operating system you're using and then just download it and install it. Uh, however you want. Now, you can also configure it similar to Kiri or Alacrity or any other terminal. All you have to do is just create a directory called Ghosty and then a config file. I believe you can also put this in different places, but however, this is like the default way to do it. And as you can see here, uh, this is the syntax they used for configuration. It's kind of similar to Kitty as well. So it's a key value pair. And then you just put different things like here, for example, you have the color palette, you have the font, a key map or key binding for different functionalities. Here you see they have a CLI tool. So essentially you type in ghosty and then whatever the command you want to run. It does give me like Kitty vibes here. So like you should have like uh, kitty plus uh, kitten, whatever. So this is ghosty plus show config, kind of similar. Um, yeah, and so there's a lot of configuration we can look into. It does come with a lot of themes that we can also check. And it seems like we're going to have support for iTerm color schemes as well, I iTerm 2 essentially. Anyways, uh, let's open it up and see how it looks. So I already installed it. Here we have Ghosty. Obviously it's such a terminal, so there's nothing really crazy to see here. And let's start by first showing you what my configuration looks like. Uh, it's still very kind of minimal. Let me make this a bit bigger. So here, as you can see, I just have a, you know my font, font size, theme. This theme, by the way, is kind of uh, baked in or like a uh, built in. I can change the line height, shell integration, different things. And you can also uh, set different color palettes for your theme like this. And so for now, that's all I have. There's nothing really going on here. By the way, you can also have tabs in this, uh, unlike uh, Alacrity, I think you can't have tabs, but here you can have tabs. I rarely use them, but yeah, you can have that. Now let's try some of the CLI tools. So. Here you see we have ghosty, show config, etc. So let's try that. Ghosty. Okay. And then you have this plus action. So let's say, for example, dash dash help. And here it tells you all kind of things you can do. So you can list fonts, key bindings, themes, colors, etc. Let's look at the version, for example. So ghosty plus version. Here it tells you things like the zig version we're using, which is a programming language, if you're not familiar with that. Let's list fonts and see how that looks like. So ghosty plus list fonts. And here it shows you, similar to Kitty actually, all the available fonts that you can use um, inside your terminal. So for example, in my case, I am using, I'm sure somebody will ask at some point, this one, Berkeley Mono. Um, I believe you have themes as well. Let's try that. Here you see all the built-in themes that comes with it. There's so many things. And you see that they have like all the you know, used ones, like the most famous ones, like obviously you have Groovebox, you have Nord. I believe you have Capuchine. They have a pretty good list. I don't think you can even, you know, need anything else to be honest. And what else can we do here? Let's check. Yeah, key binding. So let's try key binding. So list key bindings. 
All right, so here you see pretty much everything that this terminal can do, and you can remap them. So you can see all this list and essentially decide how to map them to your flow. So to see what kind of configuration you can have here, uh, they provide this command here. So let's just put it here. We can say ghosty plus show config. And if you open this, it's going to open a huge thing here. So you probably should pipe this into some editor to read things. But another way to kind of look at different configuration is they have this page here under config um, structure. So if you open that, let me make this bigger and this bigger. So when you open this config.zig, if you scroll down a bit, you see all the options here. Now, obviously, these are not just copy paste. So the way you can read this is, for example, this font family. And then you just provide the font. They give you an example here. But you can just read this file, essentially, and figure out pretty much all the configuration that are available for you. That's how I, I did it myself. And yeah, it's pretty straightforward. There's so many things you can do. And another thing that I found as well, which is this public config files. So essentially, when you open it, you have um, this page here. It shows you how other people are configuring their editor or the terminal. So for example, this one here. And they give you just example how people are configuring it so you get some ideas. So for the special feature of this terminal, let's clear this up. And if you go here, where is it? There you go. Terminal Inspector. If you open this up, you see this very interesting view here. And essentially, it's like the browser, like when you open a DevTools and you see different things that you can inspect. This is pretty much the same, but for your terminal. And this is pretty amazing. And you know, you can see like your mouse moving, like here, hover point, for example. When you move your mouse, you see that these numbers are changing. And you can see like, you know, background color, memory usage. Kitty graphics, that's another thing as well. This has the Kitty protocol for images, so it can show you images essentially, just like Kitty. And yeah, you can inspect different things here. Modes, keyboard. So if you type, I believe, yep, it shows you how the different key presses you're making. Terminal IO and cell. It's pretty amazing that you can even have that, really. Um, fascinating stuff. So you can imagine like yourself building a CLI tool and using this to kind of inspect different things and how the tool is performing. And that's why I said like this will help us build better CLI tools and very impressive work. And this is only just the beta, like this can get better even, which is fascinating. So I've been using this for a couple of days now. It works pretty well. One thing I noticed and I shared about it already is that the colors here are actually a bit kind of not as vibrant as Kitty. So I can show you this side by side. So here's, um, on this side we have Kitty and on this side we have Ghosty. So if I open up, for example, Vim, and let's pick up any files here and same thing here, Vim, and then let's open up LSP here. I don't know if this is visible for you, but if you can, if you zoom in a bit, you probably see that the colors in Kitty are a bit more vibrant than Ghosty. That's not a big deal. I'm just too picky here. But like you see that this color, for example, and this color are kind of, there's like a different contrast for them. I know there's like a work, uh, there's some work being done on this and they're probably gonna fix it, but not a big deal. Again, I'm just being picky here. But other than that, this terminal works pretty well. It's um, very snappy, really fast. Okay, so that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you. Just this new terminal, very exciting work. And I think whenever this goes um, live and Whenever this becomes available for everybody, you guys are gonna love it. I believe they mentioned it's gonna be public by the end of the year. So be waiting for that. Anyways, that's all I wanted to share today. Just a quick video demoing this uh, new terminal. I hope you like it and I will see you in the next one.